Hi guys, welcome to my new tutorial on how to make, uh, how to use Unity ads and publish your game so that other people can see your ads. Um, so to start off, I'm I'm gonna open Unity, and I have to have an open project. I, this is my project that I've been working on for a long time, but you can have whatever project you want and open the scene that you want to have the ads displayed in. So for my for me, I have it displayed in. Uh, one second. Let me go. Yeah. And uh, the reason it's called AdMouse tutorial is because I was working with AdMouse before. But as you can see here, that uh, I removed it because AdMouse I wasn't able to. I, I had duplicate accounts, and AdMob wasn't wasn't running it, their scripts on me because uh, it was also because of COVID nineteen. They are not really updating anything, so I, I I didn't have an option. I have no option but to use Unity Manager because Unity. Unity ads are better in the sense that they're working right now. Even though you get paid more from ad mobs, but the fact is, I you don't know when that's gonna start again. So I'm just using uh, Unity ads right now. So to show you what I have here is a simple scene with a camera, directional light, some canvas, event system, um, ad mobs manager. They're not it's called ad mob manager, but it's actually ad. It's a uh, it's not ad ad mob manager. It should, it should be ads manager, or Unity manager. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it like that. And a reporter, this is a class. You don't need to worry about this. It's okay if you don't even have it here. I had it here to report it, but you don't have to have it there. And this is Canada. This doesn't even need to be there. And this is a video clip that I'm playing, which basically spins a, a loading screen whenever there's nothing loaded. It's like, a, it's like a circular loading bar. So let's start off now by going to starting off by going to the uh, services. You can do that by, if you don't have it there, you can do that by going to Windows, General, and Services. So that opens up this panel right here. And make sure you have internet connection because otherwise it won't work. But here you see all of these things that are related to Unity services. Uh, some of them, I think most of them are not for the personal user. Some of them are for Pro and Plus. I'm, I'm using Pro, uh, Unity Personal right now, which is, uh, I got like a one man show and the game developer, so I, I'm only using the ads, but you can use analytics, cloud build, cloud diagnostic, collaborate in a purchasing and multiplayer. Uh, so, yeah, ads here. I'm just gonna go click on it. You have to create an ID first, but if you already have it, then you can just go click on it and it'll show up a window called, called this ads and it's gonna be off. So, you have to turn it on. Uh, you have to click the twice. Okay, turn it on and then you'll see that. Unity will show you all these things. I'm gonna enable. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna disable test mode and test it like that. But if for your sake, you should just. It, it's not really. A, it's not a. It's not a. It's not something that they welcome. But they know that sometimes when you add the when you add uh, uh, when you test the game, then you need to be able to see the actual final version. So uh, this is where the, uh, this guy told me. I read the forums in Unity, and uh, one guy said. I built my final app APK and so I took it off test mode and had live ads. On the dashboard, it counted those views. I do hope they add device and IP registration, that would be nice. So the Unity guy here, which I'm assuming is legit, it says that you won't get into trouble, it's just, it'll just offset your numbers, which means it might take longer to validate your users. Say the same as YouTube, which doesn't count your, your, your visits, only counts the other people's visits. I think that's dependent on the IP and the devices you have. So yeah, just make sure you don't inf artificially inflate your numbers because then you you might just get banned from Unity ads. And in my case, that would be really bad because I can't, I have no other option right now. So anyways, let's go back to Unity and uh, wait for this to load. And I, like I said, you have to enable disable test mode if you want to check it out, but you can enable it too. It doesn't matter, but anyways, so you, now you want to go to dashboard. And this will open up a, a link called operate.dashboard.unity3d/organizations/sumnumbers/overview. So what you're gonna do here is you gotta go to projects. As you can see, I have not earned anything right now because I just started this. I, I, re I almost like like about like three minutes ago I was doing. I finished doing this, so it's not showing the right numbers right now. But soon I will have something to show you guys. And then so if you go to Outlast. 
you, that's my game right now. That's you have you can you go have to go into the projects and then go to whatever game you you were working on that has to have ads on it. So I my game is called Outlast. So I click on that, and it will show me all the revenue and everything that is there. But right now there's nothing there. So anyways, we are gonna go to monetization placement, and it's gonna give you two IDs. One of them is gonna be for the app iPhone App Store, and the other one is gonna be for the Google Play App Store. So, and you have two options here. I, I know there's another option you can add placements, but for now, two, two, two options there are uh, video and reward reward video. And uh, yeah, so video is what I'm using right now. So click on video and go to this general setting here. It'll show you, oh yeah, remember, also remember to go back to placement and copy these numbers, because whatever wherever you're working on, you have to copy this number and I'll show you why. Because if you go into the AdMods manager, and I click on the thing, the ads manager that's, that I made. Uh, well, it should show up, but let's just, uh, okay, let's wait a while. In the meantime, you go here, and uh, you see this placement ID, you need to copy that. You can copy that by clicking here, or just double clicking and Command C or Control C. And uh, you have to, the name is video, can mute it, allows skipping for after five seconds. And it's a playable ad. So anyways, to do that, let's go to the ad ma ad manager that I have over here. This thing. So yeah, you have to add you have to add a C sharp script. I have it here under assets C scripts. You have to drag it in to the to the whatever game object you're gonna put it in. So I'm gonna put it in here. But as you can see, I'm put I already put one in, so I don't need to put another one in. But for you. You should put. You should make a, a script called Add Manager, and put it and drag it into the components here. So once you do that, you will come. You will, you get a window. When you double click on that script, you're gonna get a, a window that looks like this. Make sure you add on use using Unity Engine dot advertisements and using Unity Engine dot scene management. For me, it wasn't working before when I had it like this. Look, it's like this. It was getting giving me an error because then it was conflicting with another thing that I had. So I did this. Also, one more thing before you add ads. One more important thing I forgot that you have to actually get the get the uh, the package manager package from the package manager, and it's a free app manager, free app that a package that you can download in the Windows package manager. So here's advertisement. You can you can use that or you can use. I think this is the one you have to use, and you have to up to date it. So right now it's three point four point five. In what sometimes like what happened was before I downloaded it and I had two point zero point eight. It wasn't working properly and it was throwing errors. So you make sure that you update it to three point four point five. As you see, you can see right here it says up to date. And you can see all the versions. You can see all the versions, but. 3.415 is the one that we need right now. So anyways, download that. It'll take like maybe 30 seconds. And then come back to the script again. And then you have to import these two things, Unity Engine and Advertisement and Unity Engine Scene Management. And you have to put it here like this. You can, uh, if, you, if it works for you without this, that's fine. But uh, if my, for me, it doesn't work, so I'm gonna use it like this. Unity Engine dot advertisement dot Unity add Unity and and Unity add listener, which is the uh, the interface that has these four functions in there, which we'll talk about later. First of all, let me just remind you guys that the placement is going to be the video. So let's go back to the dashboard, and I'll show you what I mean. Is you know how it says placement video, placement ID. You have to you copy that right. So when you go back here, you have to paste it in the placement string because that's how the the as use Unity add manager and ad, ad system knows that it's a video and not a rewarded video or a banner or something else so then you you start you make a you make an ai enumerator instead of void start function because you, the one you get from modern behavior you got to change it a bit so change it like this with the i enumerator add a listener advertisement on listener which is a static uh, method then initialize it with the number you got from here um, so go back here and you see this number, this number right here, remember you copied it, you just have to paste it here and then say true. And uh, when you're not, when, when, when you go through a while loop and you wait 
until the advertisement is ready and then you show it to the people they, they are playing your game so also you have to add four new functions which you can do here just copy paste these here and uh, go, the final function is the most important one on unity as did finish did finish which means either you skip that ad or you finished it or it failed somehow you, you're gonna do this you're gonna in my case I'm gonna use this please see manager load scene and I'm gonna display the next screen that I have okay, so for you it might be some something like uh, next scene but for me I'm gonna, I have it like this because I have a lot of levels so yeah I put it like that and then the second one is the show results skipped if they skip the ad uh, let me remove this and put it here and you see I'm doing both um, if, even if they skipped I'm loading the next scene so you can do something else you can say you know you have to go to the video or otherwise we'll show you another video or something so anyway then the next thing is you show you if the, it fails for some some rare then you just show this and I, I think I what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this uh, copy pasted here because I think we should just not you want them to uh, 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 you want them to work so that's all there is to it and then you just go back you play it and we'll see what happens so add my, let me go to scene one this is my main menu so let's load this it's gonna take a couple of seconds because it's a big file I, uh, it's like about two gbs right now even uh, uh even if you don't uh, even on android it's like 400 mb i have to use extensions to but here, here's what's gonna sh here's gonna what here, here's what, what's gonna show your ads right now. So this is your ad basically. This is what it would show. And if you skip it, it it works. It doesn't matter if you skip it or close it. It goes to the next scene, which is this. And this is the loading thing that I had before. And uh, it's taking a while, but here's the next scene. So here's my game. So anyways, that's all I wanted to show you. And if you're really itching for so now you're still telling me that oh look you saw an ad but that wasn't the right ad well that was the right ad it's just that you have to launch it in the in your device or the other person's device to for it to work i have it here i i wish i could show you but uh, i have it here and as soon as you as soon as you uh click on in disable test mode it just it, you don't click on this it it starts to show ads on your on your device so for me it worked with this script and it's working on my phone i wish i could show you i don't really have a camcorder right now but uh yeah so that's all i wanted to show you guys anyways uh click the subscribe button or the thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment please because that that's my bread and butter you know and also tell your friends about my game too because that helps yeah so sayonara okay. mm.